All right, just finishing up getting set up here. Just give me one second and we'll be on our way. Should be a short one anyway. Pull up chat, just in case anyone wants to see it. All right. Of course, now the dog wants out of my office. All right, tonight we're gonna do a uh, quick break. We're gonna open up this case of Onyx Clubhouse Collection that white out of my eyes and uh, open up a couple of boxes out of this case oh let me pull up the video so let me pull up the chat so hey Mike Nick Troy how's it going guys uh, going on a little bit early tonight so that I can get everything all done and wrapped up in time for uh, for Ben's break, Midwest Box Breaks, uh, at 7 o'clock. He's on at 7, I believe. So, um, all we're doing tonight is we're going to open up this case, pull out two boxes of uh, game-used gloves, and see who's in them. And these are for Vandy. Is Vandy in here? My dog's sneezing. You right, buddy? He's wondering why I'm talking to my computer. We'll give it a second for Vandy to make sure he's in here. Uh, in the meantime, I'll talk about some stuff real quick. I got this stuff in today. Some vintage packs. Uh, I got some more vintage packs, some 1979 Topps wax, and I have all this stuff in the background which you can't see very well, but uh, if we fill the big hit break, then, uh, hey Chris, if we fill the uh, card warehouse big hit draft mixer break, then I will throw in one of these 1975, 1979 packs. And then we also got a uh, cello in a grocery rack pack, but more about those later. Uh, and there's breaks on the website, Card Dash Warehouse. You can see the URL at the top uh, for those. I apparently turned something off here. Uh, sorry, you guys couldn't see chat. There we go, is this one? All right, I have to adjust some things. I'm not gonna worry about that part. All right, so let's get, let's get going. We're looking for, uh, who are we looking for? Red Sox or Trout, right? That's what we're, we're hoping to get here, so. Good luck. I'm gonna pull all three boxes out and uh, you can tell me which one you're, which two you want. Figured I'd just open the case when we're live here. I have not opened these before, so I don't really know what they look like or how to get them out of the, the case box, apparently. At least they're not light bulbs. I don't want to destroy the case box because it's perfect for shipping. So what I'll do is I'll open the other end and just push these out. That would be smarter. Trout or Red Sox? David Brown. Are you hoping he gets judged and then racks it to you? What's up, OT? Matt. 
All right, so, well, these are snug in there. Like I said, I haven't, I've never opened these before, so uh, what we'll do is, from left to right, box one, two, and three. Do you have a choice? And the, the choice is for Chris. The rest of you, I don't care. This is one, two, and three. And they're all sealed at the bottom. Two and three, all right. So two and three, and we'll set this one aside. That's part of the bigger break. All right, here we go, good luck. There's some pretty good names in, in here. Uh, and of course they, they do a better job of advertising the really good names. I don't know who else is, uh, who else is in this. But I know Trout's in this. I know there's a lot of really good stuff. There's a COA. There's nothing else in that box. And I'll put all this right back in the box. Okay, does anyone recognize the signature? Any guesses? This one looks like it is shed long. You can see it at the bottom there. It's not Bryce Harper, it's Shed Long. Anyway, that's what they look like. They're uh, Velcroed together. And both gloves are signed. Oh, I see how they did that. And there's the back. All right. Smell game used. No, they don't really smell all that bad. Let's do this. All right, that's one box. Let's hope the uh, second box has trout. I don't know anything about Shed Long, so. Does not seem like a, a exciting hit to me, but there's a COA for that one. He's got a little bit more color in them. They have a COA sticker on there too. These one, these appear to be only, oh no, they both are autographed. Man, that pinky looks horrible. These got some dirt on them. Signed and dated. And then this one is just signed, not dated. There are... So this is interesting, and I thought that, I thought these uh, autographs looked somewhat different. If you look at them side by side. They're two different players. I didn't think that was a, a thing in these, but Mason Martin, 2018 game used batting glove. So it actually says gloves, but there's. So that's going to be Mason Martin. 
And then this one is Nick Heath. Yeah, that's what I said. Who? So no, no Mike Trout. No Andre Judge or Brian Harper. Mason Martin, Pirates prospect. All right. And these ones, uh, Mason Martin says 2018 game use. Nick Heath says 2019 game use. Yeah, not, not uh, the greatest outcome. Should have been obvious when I looked at these. They're, they're different gloves. But you did get three players for the price of two, but you only got one glove each on these guys. Who knows, maybe the uh, maybe the real hit is going to be in the third box. Or it, it could be uh, another name that I don't recognize. Nick Heath. Alright, that's it for those. Uh, just a reminder, we do have this Card Warehouse Big Hit Draft Mixer. Spots are available on the website. Um, for those of you in Discord, they're available in Discord for a tiny discount as well. Um, and those include two game use bats, one game use glove, um, two autographed baseballs that are up here, some silver packs, gold packs, Goodwin Champions boxes, which will... Uh, give the hits to certain spots and split up all the base among those spots. Autograph mini helmet uh, in the back that you cannot see because it's hidden is a full jersey autographed and then a box of Bowman Sterling as well and uh, five different spots will get five packs out of that. So Martin hit close to 30 bombs in air. Okay. So maybe they're not horrible the shed long you think is mis mislabeled. Who do you think that one is? Let's take a look real quick. We have a few minutes. Went a little faster than I thought it would. This is the one that we said was shed long. Well, that this thing says is shed long, unless I'm misreading. <clears throat> There's a certification number if you want to look it up. A O three five one six nine it says shed long. This special Onyx auto authenticated game used collectible by shed long. Maybe it is wrong. Maybe it's put the wrong one in here. What's the autograph look like again? I'm horrible with autographs, but uh, forty-two. Oh, that's not a forty-two. I think that's in quotes. Two thousand eighteen G six, maybe. Oh, G U. Two thousand eighteen G U is what I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be at the bottom. There's the auto right there. I guess the easiest way to to figure that out if it's mislabeled is look up. Can look at the other one too. They're pretty close to the same. Yep, GU for game used. So If it's mislabeled, I don't know who that is. I don't I don't recognize the signature. But the authentication says shed long in it. So that's what I'm going with until I hear otherwise, I guess. Anyway, uh, congrats, Vandy. Hopefully the prospect stuff out of this is 
hopefully prospects will uh, pick up and uh, be much more valuable. So maybe these are ones to hold on to for a little while and see how they turn out value-wise. But uh, we'll see what comes out of this other one as soon as we fill the the uh, mixer. We're about we're half full right now. 15 spots left. So shed sign Bryce's name. That'd be kind of funny. It, well, to some of us, it would be funny. What if Bryce signed his name and uh, they just put the wrong thing in there? We can hope. All right, I'll set those aside and I'll get those shipped out to you. Uh, in the meantime, we've got the big break and then we've also got some vintage breaks. Uh, there's a, a break on the site right now for 1979 Tops Wax Pack, for the Cello Pack, for the Grocery Pack, and for both of these um, one of those is a 79 and the other is a 80, I think. I forget. Uh, but take a look at that on the site and uh, in about 15 minutes, check out MidwestBoxBreaks.com and uh, look for Midwest Box Breaks on YouTube for this stuff going on there. I'm in a couple of those breaks, I think. All right, thanks for joining, guys. For anyone who hasn't already, don't forget to uh, subscribe and like. All right, good night.